you are going to be tasked with designing your own rover. The goal for today's lesson was for the students to really interact with rovers that land on the moon. Is he on the ground at all? That's 10 kilometers. So we started by watching a video of an actual moon rover. Man, you are really bouncing. And then the students got to sketch and design their own blueprints for their own rovers. So they were each handed a bag of materials and they got to use those materials to create and design their own rovers based on their previously drawn sketch and blueprints. They then got to test the rovers um, on a ramp of varying heights. So we have one ramp that was less steep than the other to simulate the rover driving down the ramp from the shuttle that lands on the moon. Based on success or failure from their first test on those two ramps, they then got to go back, make some edits, make some tweaks, and think about the observations they made from their first test. And if there was something they were unhappy with, they got to change that and then retest to hopefully see more success than they did in their original test. Our first test, we noticed that the back wheel was crooked. It was sticking out too much, so it was hitting the ground before it could actually go. In the redesign, we, we got rid of all the old tape, and so we put a new tape on and made the wheel straight, and that made our cart go a longer distance and straight. Cooperation was probably one of the most important aspects of this lesson because as they were working in groups they had to share ideas. And not only did they have to share ideas but they had to respect each other's ideas. It took a lot of teamwork and we had to like really cooperate and so we had to use each other's ideas and I liked building it and coming up with the different ideas to make it and then testing it. My favorite part of the lesson was actually be able to test it, being able to see what we did wrong and how we could fix it. That went better. I think STEM is so important in the classroom. Being able to instill these skills that are involved in engaging STEM lessons into these students at such a young age is going to carry them forward and drive them to success because of these critical thinking skills, because of these problem solving skills. Those are the attributes they're going to need in order to be the future leaders of tomorrow. Hey, not bad. Pretty good.